Hey guys, it's Rack here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing some of the cool mods that I have in my T Inbed CC 1101 device. So, without further ado, this is the T Inbed CC 1101 from Lilygo. And the first modification that I did, as you can see, is the external antenna. I have two here. So, this one is for the CC1101 and this other one is for the Wi-Fi. So to do that, I have bought a big tail cable like this one. So here I have, I think it's IPEX connector. And in the other end, I have the normal antenna connector. So I can put antennas like this one for the CC1101 or one like this for Wi-Fi. But I think this one is too big to carry around. So I have bought this mini antenna. So it's easy to carry around in my pocket. And to put that into the team bed, what I had to do is uh, with a, a drill, I made a, a hole here and um, I put this so you can see there's this part here. So you can put into the hole and you scroll it and it is attached to the shell of the team bed here. And the same with this other one. So I'm gonna show the inside later, but yeah, the first modification was the external antennas. So the second one is related to the RFID. So I made a modification so I can do something like this. So, you can use the team bed and scan a tag. So we cannot emulate RFID tags with Bruce yet. So to make it easier to use uh, the RFID, so team bed has uh, an RFID antenna down here. So I can like read uh, tags and write into tags with this but I have to carry a tag around because we cannot emulate or I have to use a chameleon device like this one so I can like have some tags uh, nearby whenever I need. So what I did is I have a bunch of the tags like this one here. So I have removed this lead and inside that you have the antenna and I just like removed from here and add it here. So like this back lid works as an RFID tag. So if I need something, I can just let me open here, read tag. I cannot like read the tag from here. It doesn't work because the tag is back here and the antenna is uh, in the bottom. So I need to remove it. It's uh, with magnets, so I need to remove it and use it here. So I can like, uh, you can see this is 73A7, but I can, um, Clone new ID, but let me load file. Let me load like this master here. Clone new ID. So this is 8FC0, and I can put here. And if I go nearby again, you can see that now it's 8FC0. So it's easy to have uh, an RFID tag around whenever I need one. And it's easy to do. I just 
used a tape here. Uh, it's not the best solution, but it was just for a test and it worked. So I left the tape here so I can improve it later. And yeah, it was just inside this. I just removed it and paste it here. The third mod I did was the NRF24. So I have here the NRF24 and I can use it. So to be able to use it, I had to add it here. So let me remove the battery so I can show the inside and also the connections for the uh, the external antennas. Uh, it's a little bit hard to remove the battery. But yeah, I got it. Okay, so I have here the NRF24. Actually, it's a GT24, but it works like the same way as the NRF24. The difference is that this is uh, the NRF24 and we have an antenna connector. So I have to like use an antenna like this. And uh, the connector here is like this four by two. And the GT24 is smaller, as you can see. It has an, uh, an antenna here already, but I have the IPEX connector as well. I don't know if I can focus, but I have the IPEX connector as well. So I can use the same pigtail and connect it here. And it has the connections in the bottom here. So I can use either this linear connection or the four by two. And I have the, um, the pins here. So in the four by two, we have VCC, ground, CSN, CE. And in the linear here, we have VCC, CE, CSN, and so on. So you can follow here. Um, the way to connect this, um, it's the same way that we have already in the Bruce repository. We have a uh, media folder with a bunch of different connections. So you can follow there. But if you need like, uh, if you want me to create another video explaining this, uh, let me know here in the comments so I can create uh, a video just like focusing on that. But inside here, and the connections. Uh, you can see this is the CC1101 antenna, so the connector comes from here, and it plugs in the CC1101 here. So this is the antenna, so you can see the cable goes around here and to the antenna. The other one, I uh, had a cable just like this one, for the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi connector is here in the ESP. But because now I have the uh, NRF24, I changed the cable to use one like this. So I have two cables with a single antenna. So I can use it with the Wi-Fi and the NRF24 because both of them uses uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So I can use the same antenna for both. So you can see here, I have the connector and two cables. One, two here. One goes around and to the uh, GT24 and the other one goes around and back here to the ESP. I still have the original Wi-Fi antenna here, but the connector here is like not attached to anything. And down here is the uh, PN532, so for the RFID. And it 
goes here. So this is the last modification that I did. I had to solder a bunch of pins here. I used uh, some of the connections from the CC1101 here. The uh, VCC comes from the ESP up here. And I have two more connections in the ESP down here. So the yellow cable and there's another one. I think it's this tiny black cable here, this one. Yeah, let me focus. Yeah, this tiny black cable and the yellow here. And yeah, that's all the modifications that I did. So for me, the T and Bad CC 1101 is one of the best uh, devices that I can use Bruce right now. But uh, we're developing a device like uh, full compatible with Bruce. And it's in the final steps to release the Bruce device. So you can uh, follow us in the, uh, in the Discord and you will know uh, as soon as we release the Bruce device, we will post it in the uh, Discord channel. So I guess that's all. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.